Sky TV wrestling tonight. Ah, come on. <laughs> that wrestling stuff is so fake. Oh, then you could probably win the $5,000 prize they're giving away to anyone who could beat the champ tonight. $5,000? Tell him to make the check out to Woody Woodpecker, bub. I could beat the chump blindfolded, standing on one leg, with both hands behind my back. Then let the wrestling begin! The Grand Line of Voices, anyone! And here comes our first challenger now. Let's hear it for Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> and now, world champion, the Granulator. <laughs> hey, uh, don't I know you? Nice trick, bub. Licorice ropes, huh? I won't even hit you. Just run into my fist. <laughs> oh, look, a hangnail. <laughs> and there's the bell for the start of the first round. Woody Woodpecker voices the granulated. <laughs> Woody could be down for the count, ladies and gents. Wait, what's this? The granulator is making woodpecker pancakes. Ow! One, two, three, you! Put me back in. I got him right where I want him. Sorry, one shot per contender. Who's our next challenger? Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so maybe wrestling's not all fake. But you know, just the right gimmick. I bet I can psych this guy out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the next contender, hailing from the moors of Scotland, let's give it up for the Scottish Scarecrow. Uh, I don't know any Scottish Scarecrow. <laughs> oh, you have embarrassed me and me tartan. Prepare to suffer the consequences. <laughs> it's time for me patented table toss takedown. He's got him on the left, on the right, on the left. What a wrestler! Didn't you see? The granular. Couldn't even get out of the way of me lumber and caber toss, no, could he? No, he's slow. Uh, One, two, three, you're out. Okay, okay, he's big, he's bad, but I bet I can still beat him with pure woodpecker speed. The next contender, welcome the Zah from afar. How did you do that? Russian ballet training. Allow me to demonstrate. And lift like so. Ha. Who is champ now, my little comrade? Help, help, help. Oh, what a turn of events. The blinding speed of the Tsar has... Wait, don't count the granulator out just yet. Didn't I think of this before? Oh, my word, ladies and gentlemen, it's the match to end all matches. It looks like the granulator versus... 
Bubba? Not stand up straight, Sonny. Everybody's looking. This is totally unheard of. Will the granulator's mama put him down for the count? You sit right here where it's safe, Mama. Oh, my. Are you sure it's safe, Sonny? I've heard about so many folding chair accidents lately. Uh, Mama? <laughs> Mama, you're right. That chair could have taken you out. Oops. Uh, be a good boy and pick up my pocketbook, dear. <laughs> Mama, I gotta go wrestle. <sighs> Why didn't I think of it before? Uh, sunny boy, you listen to your mama. You need some rest. This is unheard of. The granulator's mom is making the champ take a nap. But mama... Uh-uh-uh. No buts. Down you go. Now close your eyes. rock a by wrestler down on the mat. Count the little sheep with me. One, two, three. And you're out. The granulator has gone down in defeat. Now I want you all to leave quietly so Sunny Boy doesn't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> that car chase had more twists than a mutated pretzel. Oh, being a detective would be so exciting. Now you're taking the fall, little lady. The clues tell me the real killer is someone with huge ears. <laughs> a long nose. <laughs> and he's prone to drooling. The perp was under my nose the whole time. You're taking the fall. A bell went off, and I knew there was no way this pooch was the pilferer. Because for a canine, he's actually about a K2. I opened the door to a guy who looked like he'd just been hit by a truck full of handsome. Pardon me, ma'am. Do you want a vacuum cleaner? He was no slouch in the sweet talk department, either. A vacuum? Uh, sure, I have one, but it's in the shop. Sorry to bother you, then. Say, are you part of the Neighborhood Patrol Program? Uh, yeah. Some nut job's been stealing vacuum cleaners in the area. Oh. I could help get the word out. Uh, leave it to the professionals, ma'am. I was in the mood to return videos without rewinding them. Drink milk right out of the carton a day after the expiration date. Oh. It took some convincing. But Chandler saw the light. <laughs> Winnie P.I. was on the job. First thing I did was plaster the town with flyers. Deputy Dizzy, go to the other side of town. I'll whistle if I need backup. <laughs> now, to find out how this vacuum cleaner crook's mind worked. This crazy woodpecker was nosing into my business. She made me want to scream louder than a yodeler in tight underwear. I told Chandler the best P.I.s always nose around the scene of the crime. We're here to ask you about your stolen vacuum cleaner, ma'am. I'll have this, Red. Get a clue. Ten four, Chandler. I'm on it like gum on a sidewalk. Don't mind the mess. I'm dusting for clues. <laughs> I figured I'd dust for prints. It's a dirty job, mostly because of the dirt. Give me that. Go secure the crime scene. My partner was feeling the pressure. We needed a break worse than an out-of-work orthopedic surgeon. Suddenly, I had what might be a clue. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a footprint. By the looks of things, the crook was either an enormous centipede with hundreds of feet, or a man who walked with two shoes on. I decided to trace his every move.
what we had here was a sweet tooth vacuum cleaner thief with size eight W's. Huh? Hmm. When in doubt, improvise. Let's have a look at the closet where you kept the missing vacuum. Street. Give me that. So, with my partner out on the mend, I was left alone for a stakeout. I found the perfect bait. The Turbo Vac 200 on a lure out thief. I wasn't at your house for any neighborhood patrol. I was casing your joint red to steal your vacuum. But the neighborhood patrol posters. I was taking them down. But you got some cockamamie idea I was the law. <gasps> Who are you? I own a cleaning service. Business was so bad, I figured... If you steal all the vacuums in town, business will skyrocket. But then you had to stick your nosy beak into things. I want you to know, mister, whatever you're thinking, you can just forget, because you're taking the fall. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this Chandler character was slicker than the shine on a freshly licked lollipop. But we stuck to the case like glue and got our man. The streets were safe once more for vacuum cleaners everywhere. Winnie P.I. and Deputy Dizzy were on the job. Well, Mr. Wilson, your chart calls for plenty of rest, neck rubs, and three hot meals a day. Boy, oh boy, what a setup. Free food, a TV, and round the clock care. Suddenly, I don't feel so well. Dr. Woody prescribes bed rest, big meals, and hours of TV. <laughs> oh, nurse! Oh, thanks for coming. I'm head nurse Meanie. Ah, uh, well, 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 my head's fine. I don't need a head nurse. I need the neck rub nurse from next door. Uh, 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 uh. Your chart says you're to get lots of rest. I don't feel like resting anymore. Good! Then I'll just have to tire you out with some old-fashioned exercise. You know, nothing relaxes me before bedtime like weightlifting. <laughs> now you try. Oh, my. You should never lift weights when you're that sleepy. Uh, this isn't going like I planned. Your chart calls for big meals. Hot 
Diggity dog, bring on the cow, Nurse Frau. I made you extra large portions of today's special. Ta da! Bran muffins, bran salad, and for dessert, a bran souffle! Yuck! I mean, yum, yum. Healthy food makes a healthy body. I'm gonna watch you eat every bite. Lucky me. Yum! Oops, your chart fell. Hmm, I don't remember that statue. Must be a new interior decorator on this ward. Oh, and don't worry, there's lots more bran left over for dinner. Easy, big fella. I know we didn't eat, but we still got TV. The identity of the thief is none other than... Hey! What's the big idea? There's a sicker patient in room 302 who needs this TV. Sorry, but it's hospital policy. Oh, yeah? So I'm not sick enough, eh? We'll see about that. than the guy with the TV. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you're covered in sweat. Oh, <gasps> and chicken pox. <laughs> you're burning up. A hot water bottle? Aha! So you've been faking. <laughs> what do you know? I'm cured. You'll answer to the hospital administrator for this! Code red, code blue, I'm out of here. Stop that. Woohoo! Coming through. Come back, you freeloader! Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -uh. Sleeping on the job, are we, head nurse? <laughs> <laughs> Find Nurse Meanie, Doctor. She wants me to see her patient. Ah, phooey. I gotta find a way to get past the head honcho. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The worst case of dizzy smack you silly -itis I've ever seen. Luckily, it's not serious. Work pretty well. Yeah. Got ya, doctor. Cancel my appointments, nurse. This is my golf day. Come back here, you little malpractice vulture! Oh, I'm I'm terribly sorry, sir. You young folk, always in a hurry. In my day, we respected our elders. Woodpecker. <laughs> 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 <sighs> 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 I made it. I'm out. Again, Woodpecker? I'll give you a free loader to me you'll never forget. Eh. <laughs> nice going, laughing boy. Oh, no, it can't be. Look what I found, ma'am. Another chicken pox case. This could be very serious. You've done a fine job getting him here. But you look tired. Take the rest of the day off. Whoopee! Yeah! All right! You are! <laughs> oh, I mean, th thank you, ma'am. Wow! Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Take a 
trip somewhere. How's about taking a trip some when? Some when? That's right, chum. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Buzz Buzzard, scientist, PhD, MD, I O U. And this here is my esteemed colleague, Professor Tweaky the Wacky, E I E I O. We would like to offer you a trip no travel agency can provide. A trip back in time. Yeah, we'll take you anywhere in time for, say, a hundred bucks? Nightly times. Prehistorical times. Space times. Cowboy times. Well, slap some chaps on me and call me Pappy. We're going to the Old West. Partner. What do I get to do once I'm there, partner? Well, uh, uh, do? Why, uh, One-Eyed Jack, baddest Don Braid there ever was, is gonna rob a bank. And you get to try and capture him for the reward. What are we waiting for? We are now traveling through time. Quick, give me one western town, Tweaky. The Titanic sinking! Ooh, we're back in the Ice Age now. Watch out for the mastodons. Whoa! Look out for the stock market crash! Welcome to the Wild Wet. I mean, West. Towel fee, 20 bucks. A towel's not included? I'm afraid everything is a la cash. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't wait to capture... Huh? Well, I'll be hogtied. I'm gonna capture a bad guy, all right. It won't be one-eyed Jack. But first, I'll make those two vermits wish they'd never met Sheriff Woody. Hey there, sod busters. You got any idea where a dude can get a fast horse in this town? One fast horse coming right up, Sheriff. Oh, hey, why do I gotta be the horse? Just get out there, and when he gets on you like this... <laughs> oh, there's discomfort. You start bucking. The faster you dump him, the faster he'll want something else we can stick him for. <laughs> One horse, 50 bucks. <laughs> for some honky-tonk music. Sure, pal. Honky-tonk tunes is what the Old West is practically known for. So, you distract him with your charm and disgrace. Then, I'll shove him into the player piano, grab his wallet, and we'll get out of this cowboy con. There's just one problem. What's that? Well, this bonnet clashes with these shoes. Get out there. You must be the new sheriff. Play me something fast and lively. Ha, ha, ha. 
I'm gonna build us a trap to capture that boy and take his wallet once and for all time. I'm way too good at this. <laughs> <laughs> See that big X? That's where I buried the dynamite. <laughs> and when the woodpecker gets there, I let him have it a lot. Oh, I got it, boss. Hey, woodpecker. This here town ain't big enough for the both of us. I thought exactly, one-eyed Jack. You ain't exactly the shiniest lure in the tackle box, are you, Woodpecker? Now, Tweaky! <laughs> nice job, Woodpecker. We've been after these two for a long time. I guess it's true what they say, officer. Time doesn't pay. <laughs> installment from the Golden Gizmo Club. I wonder what it's going to be. Hmm. Boy, oh boy. An oil dowser? Just point and follow. Your oil dowsing gizmo will find oil anywhere. I'm going to be red. Coming through! <laughs> Down, boy! Woodpecker! <laughs> 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 Hi, Wally. What are you doing? It's not me, Wally. It's my dowser. It finds oil. See? Yeah, sure. My motor oil, you crazy woodpecker. Now take your silly stick and... Hey! Ah! Oinky doinky. Not my Swedish cooking oil. We gotta get out of here, man. We're covered in oil. <laughs> What's it doing? It's looking for more oil. And when it finds some real Texas crude, I'm gonna be rolling in dough. Ooh, it's for that kind of oil. Let me add that stick. It's mine. <laughs> it's going after the cod liver oil. Come back. Taxi. Follow that stick. A deal with you. Yeah, what kind of sneaky woodpecker deal is this? Nothing sneaky. Tell you what I'm gonna do. You help me get that dowser, and we'll split everything 50 50. Hmm. Okay. It's a deal. Ah. Hmm. 
<laughs> Come here, my little dowsing stick. Look what Uncle Wally's got for you. Oof. Don't worry, Wally. You'll be packed and ready to go in no time. See ya. What kind of partner cans his other partner? Mr. Greedy Pants. What's mine is yours. And yours is mine. <laughs> Wally, look! Wally, there's oil down there! Oh, there must be oil on my property. Property, bub. Ten feet by mm, twenty yards. By Yingo, this satellite proves it. The oil is definitely on my property. I'll dig on my side, and you can dig on yours. Oh, haven't I just had enough of your shenanigans? Hit something, yeah? Yeah. Stand back. Yeah! <laughs> Oil. Oh, I'm Lord. rich, man. I'm going to buy a rich. pony. But what? Ah! arrest them both. What did we do? Oh, not much. You just busted into my company's oil pipeline, blew out about a truckload of oil, creating an environmental hazard. Is that enough? This is all your fault, Woodpecker. My then fault? I get Don't my give me that. <laughs> Package for 3725576. Oh, boy. It's from the Golden Gizmo Club, Wally. How to turn rocks into gold. Oh, no, you don't. Haven't you learned your lesson? Hey, quit it, quit it. I'll share with you, Wally. How come I always get the hard jobs? I cook for you, I clean for you, I, I clip your nose as a lot. That's because I am the boss around here, and you are the boss around me. Well, you're not the only one with big dreams and perspirations, you know. Whitey! Okay, okay. Look, I'll give you a shot, Tweaky. Now, this is the con that's finally gonna get us out of this ice box. We find some beginners and charge them big dough to teach them how to ski. Then we take them up to the top of the expert slope. Quick like an avalanche, you and me then jump back into the gondola for a clean getaway to warmer climates, leaving them stranded by our perfect snow job. All right, here come some suckers. I mean skiers now. Hello, hello. I am Buzz Buzzard, the famous ski instructor for the children at prices any woodpecker can afford. How much can you afford? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Take lessons, please. Buzz Buzzard Ski School personally guarantees that skiing will become a second language to these kids. They'll learn to say words like slalom. And uh, when my snow pants ride up, they chafe things. Hmm, I don't know. We 
provide souvenir pictures, safety lessons, top of the slope experience, and hands-on training. And... Okay, okay, you're twisting my arm. The kids will leave you alone all day so you can ski by yourself a lot. Oh, boy. It's a deal. Wait, the dough. And I mean, uh, wait, wait, the $500. I'll pay you after I see how well they ski. You were supposed to get the money up front. Now we gotta teach these little boys how to ski or we don't get paid. Relax, boss. How tough could it be? How tough could it be? We don't know how to ski! I'm telling you, boss, if we give him everything I promise and teach him to ski just a little bit, we'll make all our dough. Mr. Buzzard, what's this rope for? Smile, everybody. Souvenir picture. Please! <laughs> Souvenir pictures, check. <laughs> and be sure you never do that with your face. We won't, Mr. Tweaky. Good. Safety lesson? Check. Now, where is Tweaky and them little boys? <laughs> if those little boys get hoit, we'll never get our dough! <laughs> Top of the slope experience? Check. Mr. Buzzer, you're one gnarly pro. Hands-on instruction, check. Why do they call it cross-country skiing, Mr. Buzzer? Why don't you ask him? Oh, uh, cross-country? Uh, because he's cross and uh, we's in the country. Let's go, I'll catch you. Let's go, awesome, I'm in fact. <laughs> hey, I wonder which way we're supposed to go. Let's make a lookout. You know, boss, this is a lot easier than I first thought. That's because you're on my skis, Nedwit! All right, that does it, Tweaky. I'm taking charge of this here con again. And I say we quit. Just go back to the lodge where it's warm and safe and... Uh... Oh, Mr. Buzzard, where are you? And there are no little woodpeckers to drive us crazy. Oh, but we can't ski. Who's skiing? Last one down's a rotten egg. A rotten egg. A rotten egg. <laughs> I'm not going to be a rotten egg. All right. Sounds like they're that way. Boss, we're going to smush ourselves. Yeah. Quit complaining. We got rid of them little wooden heads, didn't we? Right on your tail, Mr. Buzzard! That's it. No more, Mr. Nice Frenchman. They are indestructible. guys for teaching the kids. I saw them out maneuver that avalanche. Yeah, that was cool. Can we sign up for more lessons? We want to ski with you guys all winter. They're the best. Yeah, oh, can we please go with me? Please, please, please. Uh, no, no, no! Keep them away from me. Twiggy, you've got some explaining to do. 